There is a famous saying, there are blessings in disguise. I didn't know this to be true until the night of November 3rd. That a blessing in disguise was about to be revealed. Let me explain. In January 2019, my opponent announced her candidacy. She was not just an opponent. She was somebody I knew. She was a friend. So I immediately lamented. I prayed many nights, Father, take this challenge away from me. I asked, why me? But I would have to go through the most difficult two years of my life. Little did I know, it was a blessing in disguise. I had to contend with a negative campaign against me, my faith, my family, and my friends. I sought as much counsel that I could get. And one wise counselor told me, Marlon, get over it. You do not own the seat. The District 1 seat belongs to the people and they will decide. Run a positive race, one that is focused on your accomplishments for the people. So I did that. Door after door, I witnessed firsthand the love that the people had for me, the joy my leadership brought to their lives. It was then that I truly realized I am the people's commissioner. And on November 3rd, the Lord prepared a table in the presence of my enemies and gave me a victory that I did not imagine could happen. A resounding 75% of the votes winning every precinct in every community. So don't tell me that my God is dead. I credit my first win to Mayor Dale Holness and Commissioner Gellin, and I will speak a little bit more about that later on. But I credit the second win to prayer and fasting, my wife and son who constantly told me that I could do it, to my church family who encouraged me and stood by me through the negative attacks, to my volunteers who worked day and night, phone banking, knocking on doors, and working at the polls, to the residents of the city who donated to my campaign, giving me the most money ever raised in this city in a district race, $85,000, mostly coming from residents that are sitting here today, Sandy, Josh, Mark, Stephen. I couldn't do it without you. To Happy Feet Advertising, Trace, RN, Anthony, Carl, Lulu, you guys are geniuses. To Patricia, Carmelita, Anna, who phone banked like you were soldiers, morning and night, thank you guys so very much. To Commissioner, Mark Bogan, who endorsed my campaign early on, thank you so much. In 2014, I met Mike Gellin, who while running for mayor, helped me win in 2016. He was a blessing in disguise. In 2012, when I met Mayor Dale Holness, who helped me to win in 2016, he was a blessing in disguise. 
in 2016, I met Elvin Villalobos, who selfish, selfishly helped me to knock on more than 6,000 doors. He was a blessing in disguise. When I got elected to Commissioner Deborah Placco, who sought to be my only friend, she was a blessing in disguise. In 2018, I repaid that debt to Mike Gellin. And in 2020, I repaid that debt to Commissioner Villalobos. So, Commissioner Villalobos, welcome to Tamrac. Being a commissioner here is not easy, especially under the circumstances to your right. But we will get through this together. To Commissioner-elect Regina Martin, who joined me on this journey of success, her swearing-in is on Thursday. To the many people who taught me how to run campaigns, those in the camp of Mayor Dale Holness and Andrew Gillum and Bill Nelson, thank you so much. I would like to end my speech today with a very famous song that rang through my mind and gave me strength as I ran this last campaign. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. In Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. When darkness seems to hide its face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. I look forward to another successful four years here in the city of Tamarack, working with a renewed hope with all of my colleagues. And I welcome uh, again Commissioner Elvin Villalobos, who will, I believe, will make a great impact on our city. Thank you so much to the leaders and the staff of this great city. You are, bar none, the most amazing members of staff I've worked with, truly. And to Mr. Cernich, I would be remiss if I didn't mention you. Thank you for not allowing me to resign in that first month when I told myself that being a city commissioner was not for me. When I cried in your office and you looked me straight in the eye without crying with me and saying, oh, stop it, you'll be fine. To Attorney Sam Gorin, who seems to be the wisest man on earth, literally, who gives sound legal advice all the time. Thank you for not letting me fall by the wayside. It's not the end of the journey. Another four years has started, and I appreciate every single person that has contributed to my journey. The work now begins, and I thank you for your indulgence. Thank you, Vice Mayor.